And truly, all you need in this case is a little bit of this trusty floral tape. So, everything can wrap together with the floral tape. Start with the tape at the base of the blooms as you've gathered them, and just stretch and pull around, stretch and pull around, and you continue wrapping and wrapping and wrapping till you get all the way to the bottom of the stems. So you can wrap pretty far down, even if your boutonniere is gonna be shorter, because you can always just cut it. But this tape helps us to adhere the next step and to keep everything clustered together. So I'm gonna stop about there and just pull the tape off. And if I felt like I didn't have enough tape or it wasn't a tight enough cluster, I could always wrap and tape again. So here I am, it's awkward, it's long, but I'm gonna cut it later. The next step is to use this really fun raffia that's wired. Really easy to manipulate and it can form a nice alternative to a ribbon. So the same thing that I did with that tape, just put the raffia at the base of the flower and start to wrap, 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 wrap. Goes all the way to the bottom, twisting the boutonniere as you go. And with the raffia, because it's a messy look, you can get all the way to the bottom and go all the way back up to the top. And you wanna form kind of a thick layer. And in modern weddings, this is a really fun alternative to a ribbon. Okay. Now, wire cutters. Just snip right at the base, wrap it up, and you can see that raffia wire. Hold it again to the chest, measure it, make sure that it's in the right position and that you like the way it's lying, and then snip the ends. Clippers. Now, if I have a little tail, I can just pull it with my hand. Perfect. Take my boutonniere pin, stick it right in there. And voila, a boutonniere.